and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to use the atomic number and mass number to work out the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in atoms of an element, isotopes and ions. This might look a bit tricky, but stick with it because it's easier than it looks. We've already seen that atoms contain a central nucleus surrounded by electrons. Electrons have a negative charge. In the nucleus we find protons with a positive charge and neutrons which are neutral. Remember that atoms have got no overall charge because the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons. This means that the positive charges on the protons are cancelled by the negative charges on the electrons. The periodic table shows us the elements and we can use this to work out the numbers of protons, neutrons and electrons. So let's see how to do this. You'll see that the symbol for each element has got two numbers. The smaller number is called the atomic number and this tells us the number of protons in atoms of that element. So we know that atoms of lithium have three protons. We've already seen that the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons. So atoms of lithium also have three electrons. The larger number is called the mass number and this tells us the total number of protons and neutrons added together. So atoms of lithium contain a total of seven protons and neutrons. To work out the number of neutrons, we need to subtract the atomic number from the mass number. That tells us that atoms of lithium contain four neutrons. I'm showing you here the symbols for four different elements, and I'd like you to determine the number of protons, neutrons and electrons for each element. You should pause the video now and work this out. OK, atoms of beryllium contain four protons, five neutrons and four electrons. Atoms of fluorine contain nine protons, 10 neutrons and nine electrons. Atoms of sodium contain 11 protons, 12 neutrons and 11 electrons. And finally, atoms of phosphorus contain 15 protons, 16 neutrons and 15 electrons. Now, I said before that atoms of lithium contain four neutrons, but this is not strictly true. Most atoms of lithium do contain four neutrons, but some atoms of lithium contain a different number of neutrons. We call all of these versions of lithium isotopes. So here's the definition of isotopes and you do need to learn this. Isotopes are atoms of an element with different numbers of neutrons. Remember that all atoms of an element have the same number of protons. Carbon has three common isotopes and I'm showing you them here. As you can see, this isotope contains six protons and six neutrons. Whereas this isotope of carbon contains six protons and seven neutrons. Finally, this isotope of carbon contains six protons and eight neutrons. This shows the two most common isotopes of chlorine. I'd like you to work out the numbers of protons and neutrons in each isotope. You should pause the video now. Okay, the first isotope of chlorine contains 17 protons and 18 neutrons. And the second isotope contains 17 protons and 20 neutrons. Let's finish off now by looking at ions. Ions are atoms which have got an overall charge. This is because they've gained or lost electrons. Positive ions have lost electrons, whereas negative ions have gained electrons. I'm showing you two examples here. The example on the left shows sodium ions with a single positive charge. This means that the atoms of sodium must have lost one electron. So these ions have 11 protons, 12 neutrons, but only 10 electrons. The example on the right shows a fluoride ion with a single negative charge. So the fluorine atom must have gained an electron. So these ions have 9 protons, 10 neutrons and 10 electrons. Here are two for you to try. You should pause the video now and work out the numbers of protons, neutrons and electrons for these two ions. OK, the oxide ion on the left has an overall two negative charge. This means that the oxygen atom must have gained two electrons. So it's got eight protons, eight neutrons and ten electrons. The aluminium ion on the right has a three positive charge, so it must have lost three electrons. So this ion has 13 protons, 14 neutrons and 10 electrons. Remember you'll find lots more questions on using atomic numbers and mass numbers in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to use the atomic number and mass number to work out the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in atoms of an element, 
isotopes and ions. Thank you.